Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be um, a new palettes we all forgot about video. This is a series that I do quite often and I take palettes that maybe used to have a ton of hype and they don't anymore. Um, I have a whole playlist that's linked down below for you, but the palette that I'm doing today is the Too Faced um, Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. This used to be, ooh, this used to be so popular back in the day. Oh my goodness. Um, everybody had these. They smell like chocolate. It's great. So um, if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'd love to have you come join because once we hit 500 subscribers, we're gonna do a giveaway. So um, other Too Faced chocolate palettes, I've done chocolate gold and I've done the original chocolate bar. So I will link both of those down below as well as yesterday's video, my social medias, the whole nine yards, they're all linked down below as well as all the makeup I'm wearing too. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start out with a little bit of MAC Painterly Paint Pot. We're just gonna prime the eyes with it just like that. This is something that I use quite often, but I just also need to use it up because I don't want any more MAC products in my collection because MAC is not cruelty free. Okay, so we're also gonna go through swatches. So that's what the palette looks like. It's pretty neutral. The chocolate bar palettes are for the most part neutral. So we're just gonna go through that right now. The first row is licorice, coconut cream, Nougat, Truffled, and Hot Fudge. The second row is Cocoa Chili, hot, um, Pink Sugar, Puddin', Blueberry Swirl, Peanut Butter, and Frosting. The final row is Rum Raisin, Mousse, Caramel, Bon Bon, and Butter Pecan. There's that for you. I'm gonna go in with Coconut Cream, and this is just a like matte ivory shade, if you're new here. I like to take these kinds of shades and just set my primer. I find that works really well. So we're going to do that. Okay. So usually with, with a lot of tutorials, I'm often wary of doing foundation before. Um, this just because I don't want it to totally ruin my, my makeup. Usually it's with more colorful looks. I was just kind of lazy and didn't want to do foundation today. So... <sighs> Look at the, okay, this right here. I had a huge dry patch right here. And I don't know why I did this, but I was like scratching, like trying to like get the dry skin off. I don't know, it was really weird, it was dumb. And I accidentally scratched my skin. So that's that, it's not a zit or anything. I'm just kind of like bummed that that happened. So we're gonna do a pretty neutral look today as this is a very neutral palette. And we're gonna zoom up and officially get started. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M441. And this, I'm gonna go into the shade that was like super popular, and it's Peanut Butter, which is this one right here. This is such a pretty shade. It's a more warmer toned color. Um, what I noticed with this palette is, um, is that it's very hit and miss. I mean, like, the Blueberry Swirl shade is just not very pigmented. Um, the pink sugar shade was a little weird, um, but then there are some shades like peanut butter that are just fantastic. And so I do notice this with some of the chocolate bar palettes and just with like Too Faced palettes in general, things are very hit and miss. It's not always the most consistent out there. So I'm just applying this to the crease. Just a very nice, simple look, but we're going to go a little deeper. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of Cocoa Chili. This is a really cool brown shade, but it has like some gold glitter reflect. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's very evident in real life. Let's see. There you go. People love that like that. But I'm going to go with the Morphe M330. We're just going to kind of blend it out here. Just like that. This is a great crease brush for that. Just maybe like outer corner definition or anything like that. So there we go. Super, super pretty. So I'm gonna go into the um, brow bone and we're gonna use coconut cream or creme. I guess it's creme, isn't it? Look at that. I think it's creme. We'll do that and highlight the brow bone. 
I feel like with uh, with some of these palettes, they're so neutral that like it's not always the most unique, colorful, bright look that everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people want because I guess neutral is can be kind of repeated. So on the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this Jaclyn Hill. This is the JH42 Rush from Morphe. Just looks like this. The M, what is it? 213. They look the exact same. It's fine. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mousse, which is this one right here. And this I was actually surprised because it's pretty darn pigmented. It might be a little light for the under eye though. I really like this actually. I'm kind of having to build it up just a bit, but overall it looks nice. And I think I'm gonna deepen it up just a touch too. I think I'm gonna use puddin'. Puddin'. That's, oh. Oh no, I just dug my nail right into this one. I hate when that happens. That is so unfortunate. So we're just gonna do that. And I was just thinking before this video, I was like, you know what? I really need to cut my nails. They're getting a little long. Like for me, these are long. I really like them pretty darn short. And like, I used to be a huge nail biter too which I'm not anymore, thank goodness. But I used to be really bad at it, and now I'm not. Now it's like, I need these cut. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with a little bit, I think I'm gonna mix truffled and hot fudge. So these two in the corner right here. Oh my gosh, these two, these palettes used to be my absolute favorite. Just loved them. I'm just dipping up the outer corner too. But these just, oh my goodness, I loved them. And I couldn't, like whenever I went somewhere, like if I like was traveling or something, I couldn't ever just bring one. I had to bring the semi-sweet, the original, and the bon bon. So, okay, for the lid. Now there's not really a lot of lid, like metallic shades in here. We have caramel and then we have bon bon, which are these two. I think I'm gonna use caramel today. I like that kind of golden shade. I felt as if that really swatched nicely. This is more of a golden undertone where it's Bon Bon. Ooh, excuse me. Whereas Bon Bon is a more like bronzy, coppery shade almost. But I'm just going to apply this right with my fingers. I don't want to use a brush if I don't have to. <laughs> if you have this in your collection, now's the time to use it. I think I feel like especially right now, I mean, if you have stuff that you just have not used in your collection that's just kind of sitting there. Take it out, use it. I mean like when I did my original chocolate bar palette, I kind of didn't have the highest hopes for it. I was just like, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna really like this. I know I like other palettes more. And I ended up just loving it. So I don't think there's any shame in like going back and just using what you have. We're gonna go back on the lid. And I'm going to take, what is this, a motor brush, I think? Yeah, this is a motor brush. I'm going to go into Butter Pecan with my nail mark in it. And I'm going to just kind of, oops, pat, um, pat this on the inner part of the eye. And kind of bringing it up in here, but keeping the lid empty. Like, keeping the lid away from the shade. So, I like because this brings a lot of light to the eye. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the same shade, put it more on the tip of my brush, and I'm just gonna stamp this on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna buff a little bit down below. I love this, I think this is very pretty. I may take a little bit of pink sugar, just cause we're at it, but this has like no pigment, it's all, oh, I just pushed a little too hard in here and it kinda broke. But it's like all glitter. Can't even really tell. I don't know this. I'm not gonna use that shade either. <laughs> no. For liner, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Liquid Liner. I really like this look. I know it's a pretty basic neutral look. I know. I just I love going back into my collection and just seeing, you know, what are things that I have totally forgotten about that I might want to use again. Not really gonna do much of a wing today. Just gonna kinda keep it simple. There we go. For mascara, 
I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Monsoor Big Mascara. And I know I said about MAC not being cruelty free. Lancome isn't either, but I got a sample from like my birthday, from like my Ulta birthday gift. So we're using it. Okay, so those are my eyes. I really like the golden undertone that this gives. I mean, like, with the original chocolate bar, let me pull it out. A huge comparison is the undertone. So we have, I'm gonna back you up, let's zoom out. So for the original one, we have kind of more neutral, cool undertones, whereas this, as the semi-sweet, is more warm. I think they both have their positives and negatives, definitely, just like every palette does, but I really like this look and how it turned out. I think it just looks beautiful. I'm gonna take this CoverGirl lipstick. There's not really a name for it, but this is in the shade Champagne or 235. This is just a nice nude, and I think that would look good with a more neutral look. There we go. I think that complements well. I'm going to take a um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Vintage. This is really pretty. Maybe it would be a nice creamy topper. I've noticed that um, Anastasia kind of has more of a thicker formula. Not in a bad way. But it is more of like a, an opaque formula. Well, depending on what you have. I mean, like I have this one. And this is a little more like like a lip topper, whereas Vintage is a little more um, opaque. It is a fantastic formula, though. Wow, okay, so this is the finished look. This is such a beautiful palette. I definitely recommend you, if you have this, like, dig it back out, check it out. And, yeah, this is just... Huh, lovely. Um, let me know what you want to see next. I do have a makeup collection video. And I will link that down below for you in that um, if you want to take a peek through my collection and just see, hey, I want to see another look with this or I want to see a review of this. Let me know. I really want to do more videos for you, but I want to know what you guys actually want to see. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.